I, I think there's a, a terrible kind of human uh, chauvinism, which, uh, you know, we look at another animal, if he doesn't do precisely what we do, we say, my goodness, what a dummy he is. And you can see that most clearly in, uh, in the studies that have been made of chimpanzees. Uh, uh, until recently, the kind of best study of the intelligence of chimps was you take a little baby chimp and raise it in the same house, little baby baby, and uh, you, you give them both identical high chairs and potties and bibs and all that. At the end of two or three years, the chimp was, of course, uh, swinging from the rafters, tremendously good physically, dexterity, excellent, but can't say uh, hardly anything, and the, the human baby is happily babbling away. From that, people said, oh my goodness, chimps are tremendously dumb, can't say anything. But two psychologists at the University of Nevada named Gardner had uh, uh, the idea, look, the pharynx and larynx of the chimp isn't good for language. Maybe there's a way which chimps could speak without using the voice. And they had the idea that Amislan, American Sign Language used by mute people, uh, would be good for a chimp. And so now we have something like a dozen chimps on the earth who are, have vocabularies in this kind of language of hundreds of words. There's a gorilla at Stanford said to have a 500-word vocabulary, not on the football team. And... <laughs>